Perhaps it would help if I, if I demonstrated what the vitreous was um, before we talked about removing it. Um, it fills the central cavity of the eye, the vitreous cavity, between the lens and the retina. It's an embryological remnant, has no role no, that we are aware of in adult eyes, and certainly the eye comes to no harm by removing the jelly. Jelly itself is not solid, as in the model. It's a, a liquid gel which collapses with age and in doing so causes all sorts of problems. Problems can include floaters, retinal detachment, retinal tears, retinal bleeds. The key to removing the jelly is, of course, access to the eye in a safe way. This is achieved by making small holes in the white of the eye while the patient is lying down in the eye theatre. The eye stays in place within the eye socket during the procedure and the small holes allow instrument access to remove the jelly itself. The success rate of vitrectomy surgery very much depends on the initial pathology, the reason for removing the jelly. A simple vitrectomy because of, for example, vitreous floaters and debris with no other retinal pathology would have around a 98 to 99% chance of a very successful outcome with no complications. So vitrectomy itself is now very much safer than it was 10, 20 years ago. Additional complications, of course, arise when one has to do additional things to the retina. So for example, a retinal detachment is generally considered to have around a 90% chance of successful reattachment with one procedure. Macular hole surgery, around 95% chance of a successful outcome with no significant problems.